Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch. In this video, I'd like to share with you a script that I've been using for quite a while that makes it easy to rename Xcode projects. I reached out to the script author and he has allowed me to create a command line tool to make it easier to execute. How many times have you started a new Xcode project and after you're well into it, you've decided that the name just isn't right and you want to change it? For example, take a look at this app that I have been working on and it's called Trip Planner. It's a travel app, so let me open it in Xcode. Now, it's actually more than a planning app. It is one heavily based on maps, so I want to rename this and call it Trip Mapper instead. Now, if I go to the actual project, you can see that the bundle identifier is Trip Planner, as are the project and targets and related folders, entitlements, etc. All are Trip Planner, and I'd like these all to be Trip Mapper. So let me show you how easy it is if you have the right command line tool. So first, let me close this project. Now I want to open terminal and navigate to this folder. And I find that the best way to do this in Finder is to make sure that I'm showing the path bar. And when you do that, you see the path at the bottom of the Finder window. And the folder that I want to navigate to is the parent trip planner folder. So I can right click on it and choose open in terminal. And this will open in terminal and CD directly to that directory. Now here's the tool that I'm referring to. You won't have it installed yet, but when you do, this is all you're going to have to do. The tool is Xcode project renamer and the command is XP rename, where you first have to supply as the first argument, the current name of the project in the current directory, which is Trip Planner. And then the second argument is what you want to call it. And in my case, that's Trip Mapper. Now, if there are any spaces, you'd have to enclose those within quotes. Now, when I hit enter, it executes a Swift script I cannot take credit for, but which I'll show you who deserves credit in a minute. And it immediately renames my project and the relative file names, folders, and strings. Let me open this newly renamed project in Xcode now. You can see that the bundle identifier, the project, the target, the folder names and file names that were previously Trip Planner are now Trip Mapper. And if I build the app, you can see that it succeeds without any issues. Now, if I go to my start view, you can even see that the navigation title has been renamed. That was easy. The only thing that has not changed is the parent root folder, as your project has nothing to do with that, so it has to be renamed manually. So let me show you how this can be done. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It would also really help if you could subscribe to my channel and enable notifications so that you're alerted when I drop a new one here on YouTube. I put out weekly videos and I seldom miss a week. So if you really want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. A link is in the description. I've removed that tool entirely now from my system, and I can verify that by trying to find the version of XP rename in the terminal. And when I do that, I'm told that the XP rename command cannot be found. Now, I first discovered the script some time ago, and it's a Swift script created by Marco Tadic, and he has made it open source on GitHub. This is exactly the script that I've shown you, but the instructions provided for the project involve three steps. So I reached out to Marco and asked if he would allow me to create a command line tool that would simplify the process. And he graciously accepted my offer, and what you just saw is the end result of what I came up with. Now I have a GitHub repo myself that you can check out, but let me step you through the process to help you get the tool and use it. You have two different ways to install the tool. Let me show you the easy way first, which involves making sure you have Homebrew installed. I'm not going to show you how to install Homebrew, but you can follow the instructions on the website and the link is in the description. All you have to do once Homebrew is installed is copy this one line of code from my repository. Then you can return to terminal and from any directory, paste it in and hit enter to run the command. 
and this will first fetch for you the formulas that I have, and I only have this one, and then it will fetch and install the latest version of the XP Rename tool. Once it's been installed, let me clear the screen, and when I execute that same version command, I can see that version 1.0.0 has been installed. I can also ask for help. And I can see that there are two arguments, the old name and new name. So since I'm inside this trip mapper folder now, let me see if I can rename it back to the old trip planner. So XP rename, trip mapper, space, trip planner. And when I hit enter, the magic is done. Now, for those of you who are interested and want to take a look at the code and install it without Homebrew, there is another option. Now, I've gone and uninstalled the command line tool once more, as you can see, because the version command is no longer recognized. So let me go back to my repository once more and take a look at the second option. And I'm going to clone this repository, and the instructions will show you how to do that. You can copy these two commands and run them in terminal. The first will clone the repository, and then the second will, once cloned, change to that directory. So back in terminal then, first let me change to my home directory's desktop, because that's where I want to actually install the package. And now I can paste in those two commands and press enter. That project's been cloned to my desktop, and I can see that I am in that directory now. It's the current directory. So if I type open space period, it'll open that directory in Finder. And this is a Swift package that uses the argument parser. And I have an entire video on creating command line tools with Swift argument parser. And I encourage you to look at that if you want to build your own tools. If you open the package.swift file in Xcode, you'll see that there is an Xcode project renamer folder in the sources folder and there is a package.swift file. That's the one that we clicked on to open. And that package.swift file shows me that the executable name is XP rename, and in fact, that it uses Swift argument parser. When the app launches, it launches as a command line tool. And here you can see the two arguments that are used. And what it does is it runs the Xcode project rename class which is the script that was originally created by Marco Tadic, passing in those two arguments. That's it. So we need to install this now. And to use this easily, we can compile it and move the compile tool into our own user directory so that it can be recognized from the command line in terminal. So to build, you'll use the build command for release. And once built, it can be found in a hidden build folder, and that file name is going to be called XP Rename. So we'll use a sudo command to copy to our own local bin directory. So let me copy this code here now. And I'm going to return to terminal once more, and I'm going to paste in those two commands and simply press Enter. The compile command takes a few seconds, and then once done, it wants to copy to your local bin folder using sudo, so you'll have to enter your computer's admin password. Once that's done, you're done. So you can see here I can issue that version command once more, and I can see that it's been found. Same thing with help. So let me once more rename Trip Planner to Trip Mapper. So I'll need to be in that directory. So let me open terminal from the path in the finder window. And then I can type in the XP rename command with the old name being trip planner and the new one being trip mapper and then press enter. That's it. Done. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. You can subscribe to my channel to get notifications of new videos. And remember that you can also download my YouTube channel listing app for free and quick access to all of my 350 plus YouTube videos. A link's in the description. 
And also remember, I have a full Swift, Swift UI course available on my Teachable site where you learn how to build a fun, multi-targeted app.